Hey, 12. Congratulations, man, on passing my touchdown record. I have one request. Go get us another Super Bowl. You know who that is. Brett Favre sending Aaron Rodgers a message tonight after the MVP passed the old gunslinger on the Packers all-time list for touchdown passes today against the Brownies. It was a fantastic Christmas Day showdown, and sports anchor Jordan Reed joins us now with much more. Yeah, pretty much every time Aaron Rodgers steps out on the field, he makes history. Of course, Christmas Day, no different. He officially holds the record for the most touchdown passes by any Packer quarterback. Now, coming into this game, number 12 just needed one, and it didn't take long for it to happen. Rodgers connects with Alan Lazard for the golden tutty that etches his name into green and gold history once again, but the scores, they don't stop there. He'll find Devontae Adams twice before halftime, setting another franchise record. Now, they have the most touchdown connections between QB and wide receiver and Packer history. This is a special place and to be a part of history like this is not lost on me at all. And there was part of me was glad we got it over with and now, you know, hopefully we get Devontae a touchdown so we can get his record. But but in that moment I was uh, I was hundred percent present and, and really grateful for uh, all my years here and, and the response from the fans. First round pick in 05. Well, that's just one side of the ball. The Packers defense also playing a huge role in this game. We're going to break it down in sports as well as the Bucks' big come from behind win. Thanks so much, Jordan. Looking forward to it. Rodgers' accomplishment today got us thinking. Who's better, Aaron Rodgers or Brett Favre? Well, we left that question up to you, and we have a poll up on Channel3000.com. And so far, you're going with number 12, who has 57% of the vote. All right, to weather now. We didn't get a white Christmas, but here's a look at Elver Park on Madison's west side earlier this afternoon. No chances to go sledding today, but families did get use of that playground. We do have some chances for showers, however. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joins us with your certified most accurate forecast now. And those showers could be mixed with some freezing rain or snow tomorrow night and then again Tuesday into Tuesday night. Now, the time lapse from the WIC Sky Camp showed some clouds to start out this Christmas day, then we broke into the sunshine and temperature. Temperatures were about 10 to 15 degrees above average. A few flurries up in the northern part of the state, not amounting to very much. High temperatures today, 43 in Madison, 46 in Janesville. Temperatures just to the south were in the 50s. Kenosha topped out at 51, and most of the major reporting stations in Illinois were in the 50s. Current temperatures are mainly in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. With uh, partly cloudy skies, those temperatures will drop off uh, into the 20s tonight. Now, we do have an alert day in the forecast for Tuesday and Tuesday night for a wintry mix with some light snow, freezing rain, or rain that will change the snow on uh, Tuesday night with the potential for a one to three inch snowfall. For tomorrow though, look for some sunshine to start the day, then we'll see more clouds in the afternoon. Should be dry during the day with a high of 38, but again, some wintry precipitation possible, mainly tomorrow evening before it changes to rain overnight. I'll have more in the forecast in just a few minutes. Thanks so much, Gary. Check this out. A massive pileup in Minnesota shut down parts of I-94 for the second time in three days. Today's pileup happened near Ashby. That's northwest of the Twin Cities. The Minnesota State Patrol says the crash involved several semi-trucks and dozens of cars. There haven't been any reports of deaths or serious injuries. And this comes as on the heels of a massive pileup on I-94 here in Wisconsin. On Thursday, at least a dozen people were hurt when more than 50 cars and semi-trucks crashed on I-94 in Jackson County. Officials say freezing rain made for very icy conditions, but the interstate reopened Thursday night. And with some chances for snow, make sure you know the road conditions before you head out this week by downloading our Channel 3000 weather app. It's free and available in the App Store. Next tonight, a mother of four is looking for answers tonight after having her family Christmas derailed. Tahalil Mohodin shares how an unexpected maintenance issue is to blame. We had plans, you know. A family Christmas disrupted. That's all I prayed for last night for Santa to bring me running water. For hours, Kiyomi Archer's sink, about as useful as the one in her daughter's toy kitchen. It's like I have my meat going for my greens, but I can't do my greens because I can't wash them. When she called Ridgecrest Apartment Management yesterday, they told her a pipe underground had burst and promised to have it fixed. Today, a voicemail. Fortunately, the city came back this morning and restored partial water at 7 a.m. There should be enough water to get us until tomorrow morning. About 9, 10 o'clock, it was shut off again. Six hours after that, it was back on. Ain't no telling. You, know, you see my kids, they're like, oh, can I flush? Can I go to the bathroom? Like, it's ridiculous. And if it shuts off again, we will be in 
All this adding to the list of reasons the mother of four is fed up with management. These people are over here are ridiculous. They have roaches, they have mice, you know what I'm saying? They don't answer the phone. People break into apartments. You can hear so many stories. Vowing to move out. My lease is up. Don't nobody want to stay. And then they're raising rent on top of it for what? The conditions out here are filthy. Archer also said that she's making do without water on Christmas doesn't just kill the holiday spirit. It's especially challenging because most places that would have helped her manage are closed. I did reach out to Ridgecrest Apartment Management to find out more, but they have yet to respond. Thanks so much, Taha Leo. Around the state, people on French Island near La Crosse have now been dealing with contaminated water for more than a year. Residents learned on Christmas Eve last year that they were drinking water contaminated with high levels of PFAs. Those are man-made chemicals that are toxic to the human body. Lawmakers have been working to resolve this situation, but people on the island are frustrated. Our news partners in La Crosse spoke with a French Island resident. You can find the latest story on our website. Next at 10, three men are in custody on possible hate crime charges after an incident in McFarland. On Thursday, police say that men rang a doorbell and used vulgar language and slurs at a child who answered the door. Since the men haven't been charged, we're choosing not to name them yet. Anyone with more information is asked to please contact McFarland police. A 23-year-old man is in the hospital after a motorcycle crash on Madison's east side. This happened this afternoon on Packers Avenue. Officers say the man suffered life-threatening injuries. Now, the road was closed for about an hour during their investigation. And turning to our virus headlines, COVID numbers here in Wisconsin are still trending the wrong way. For the first time since last winter, the statewide activity level of COVID is critically high. In the most recent data yesterday, the state is averaging more than 3,500 new cases each day over the past week. The percent positive average is also above 14%. And we've been reporting all week long on how difficult it has been for some people to get COVID tests leading up to the holidays. Local health officials encourage you to get a test if you're meeting up with your family this weekend. We do have a list of testing sites on our in our area on our website, channel3000.com. It's been another COVID Christmas as people around the world again celebrate against some of the somber drop dropbacks of the pandemic. Testing sites are packed and even with the holiday weekend as the Omicron variant continues to spread, canceling hundreds of flights. CBS News is Elise Preston has more. To let my family know that no matter where I am, no matter how far away I am from all of you, that my heart is always with you. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station sent Christmas messages to friends and family back home. In Virginia and across the nation, there was caroling. But even with the festivities, it's hard to forget that it's yet another Christmas the world is battling COVID-19. With more flights canceled Saturday, staffing issues tied to the virus are disrupting travel during one of the busiest times of the year. And as the highly contagious Omicron variant now detected in every state spreads, many travelers are mindful of health and safety. It definitely is, you know, especially going home and having at-risk at siblings. So it's definitely something that I am worried about. We've been very big on, on masks and stuff. She's too young to get vaccinated. So um, it's obviously a worry. About two years into the pandemic, many church services, like the ones being held here at New York's Cathedral of St. John the Divine, are being held online. Jill and I know how hard it is for you. But at the White House, President Biden and the First Lady met virtually with U.S. military members serving around the world to wish them a Merry Christmas. As your commander in chief, I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you. President Biden and the First Lady also attended church services virtually Friday from the East Room of the White House. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Well, we know how much the people of Kentucky have been through this month battling a surge of COVID cases and deadly tornadoes. But the community of Mayfield is coming together this weekend to celebrate Christmas. Two congregations that were destroyed had a joint Christmas Eve ser uh, service where they sung Silent Night. More than 70 people were killed due to those tornadoes. 
It's been exactly one year since chaos ensued in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Cleanup continues after a man set off a bomb in his RV on a downtown street on Christmas morning, destroying dozens of businesses and residential buildings. Nashville's mayor is investing $20 million into the recovery of the street. City leaders say they're making some progress on rebuilding, but sections of 2nd Avenue still are close to the public. Those who do live and work nearby say they're still in shock. This isn't something that you would have expected to happen in real life, and it happened. We got a bomb on Christmas morning. We couldn't go and see our loved ones for a whole year. Some of our favorite places and businesses are affected. It was, it was almost like a dream. Like, is this really happening? Am I um, uh, going to be able to wake up here in a second and it's going to be over? The FBI says Anthony Quinn Warner was the man who set off this bomb. Several people were hurt, but Warner, who officials say was inside of the truck, was the only person that died. A reminder tonight to be careful taking down your Christmas trees. Three people in Pennsylvania were killed this morning after their tree caught fire. Police say two people were rescued from this house, which you can see is badly damaged. A GoFundMe page for the family has already raised more than $150,000. Still ahead at 10, Gary has more on the alert day in our forecast. And while the memories won't be forgotten, the memorial is coming down. Why the city of Waukesha is taking down the space dedicated to parade victims. Plus, we'll introduce you to a local nurse who is doing something really good this year. Why she's taking time to give back this holiday season. Stay with us. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection serves all of Dane County and the surrounding communities. And with our new location in Monroe, we also proudly serve all of Greene County. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. In a recent clinical study, patients using Salon Pos Patch reported reductions in pain severity, using less or a lot less oral pain medicines, and improved quality of life. That's why we recommend Salon Pos. It's good medicine. He sent me to those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Chevy is taking people lots of places this holiday. We're going clubbing! We're going to find the perfect treat. We're going to Nana. Let your Chevy dealer take you there with Chevy Red Tags, where the price you see is the price you pay. Happy holiday from Chevy. Find new places, find new roads. Or find your Red Tag and you may qualify for $500 bonus cash on all Silverado Crew Cab pickups. That's on top of most other offers. New models are arriving weekly. Secure yours today. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Here's to the holidays. Here's to the casserole queens and Santa's who saute. To the turkeys brined in beer. And well, just beer to the ones who do the most, and the ones who do the least, to the classic traditions, and whatever you call this one. This year, no matter how you holiday, Festival has you covered. Festival Foods, a Wisconsin tradition since 1946. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day, seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. Monona Plumbing and Fire a name you can trust when service is a must. Wisconsin Politics 2021. What genuinely surprised you this year? News 3 Now's Naomi Coles leads a panel of state political journalists to help make sense of a chaotic year and preview what's to come in 2022, starting Wednesday at 6. You are watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television.
scary story across the pond today. An armed person was arrested after trying to enter the Windsor Castle in the UK. Police say a 19 year old had an offensive weapon. They triggered a security alarm when they got onto the grounds, but were not able to get into any buildings. Queen Elizabeth was celebrating Christmas inside the castle during this incident. It's been nearly five weeks since the city of Waukesha's Christmas parade turned deadly. This is the memorial downtown in the city, and it continued to grow, but soon it will be taken down. Our news partners at WTMJ in Milwaukee explain what's next for the city as it works to recover. On a gloomy Christmas Eve, the weather nor the holidays stopped people from taking a moment to grieve and remember those no longer with us. There are a lot of families that are really hurting today because of this tragedy, mm -hmm. and I felt that I needed to be down here just to pay my respects. Throughout the day, others did the same. And I wanted to stop by and take a close look again before it uh, goes into storage. The city announced the temporary memorial will be taken down after a decommissioning ceremony at Veterans Park December 29th at 8 in the morning. Items will then be collected by the city and Waukesha County Historical Society. What the mayor wants to do, and I agree, is, is try to uh, engage the community uh, for ideas about um, you know, how best to do a um, you know, permanent memorial. I think we just really need to preserve this all of this stuff for future generations to see. And that's the plan. Mayor Sean Riley announced the creation of the Waukesha Christmas Parade Permanent Memorial Commission. A team of city and community leaders to identify the best monument and location for the memorial. There's always the intention to you know, preserve all of those things as best, as best as we could. Stephen Lab says he agrees for as tragic as the event was, the lives of those killed that fateful day cannot be forgotten. Forgotten. We just need to remember. We always need to remember what happened here. That was Tony Atkins reporting. After the memorial leaves Veterans Park, the city says it will begin working to preserve the memories that were left there. In more local news tonight, a local nurse is doing something good and stepping up this Christmas to help raise money for those in need. Tammy Davies is a nurse who also owns her own small business. Sweet State of Mind is a health wellness store in Monona, which also happens to make tie-dye products. This holiday season, Davies tie-dye products are taking on a whole new meaning as 10% of each item sold will go directly towards domestic abuse intervention services. Being a nurse, um the joy in people's face when you, you can make a difference really is something that warms your heart. I, I can't explain the feeling. It's just a certain feeling that you get um, helping somebody else. Helping your community is amazing. Davy says the store is also selling handmade wreaths and decorative snowmen in an effort to buy socks for the homeless during the cold winter months. Speaking of cold winter months, let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canulty. Hasn't been cold and we haven't had much snow. In fact, uh, green Christmas is here. Three things you need to know in the forecast, though. While above normal temperatures will continue for the next couple of days, they won't be quite as mild as the last uh, couple of days. Then we're looking for some light snow, some light rain, or maybe some light freezing rain tomorrow night and then again Tuesday into Tuesday night. We'll have to keep an eye on both of those, but I think the, the Tuesday and Tuesday night uh, event will probably be the more significant of the two. And then cold weather returns on Wednesday and lasts through the start of the new year. As we look at Doppler track tonight, you can see some flurries and light snow up in northern portions of Minnesota. That's the area that had some snow. Of course, we had the story earlier about the big accident on I-94 northwest of the Twin Cities. They had some snow uh, during the day today, but winter storm watches have already been issued for northwestern Wisconsin, much of northern Minnesota into North Dakota for tomorrow afternoon into Sunday. That'll be where the main effect from tomorrow night's weather system will be. We're looking at the potential for maybe an inch or two of snow north of Madison, south of Madison, probably not anything, and then a lot of that may melt as temperatures turn warm enough for precipitation to change over to rain. There also could be a little bit of some freezing rain, uh, just minor ice accumulations are expected. This again for tomorrow night before temperatures go go back up into the mid to upper 30s. Now, as we head into Tuesday and Tuesday night, a little more significant weather system, potential for several inches of snow through central Wisconsin, probably about a one to three inch snowfall through much of southern Wisconsin, but there's probably a better chance for some more significant freezing rain. So this, this bears some watching because temperatures are going to be right around or just below freezing for much of the day on Tuesday, maybe getting above freezing for a time in the afternoon and then dropping back below freezing at night. And that's when we'll see most of the snow accumulation. So we do have an alert day in the forecast for Tuesday and Tuesday 
Tuesday night for the potential for that wintry mix of precipitation that will change the snow at night and we might see a one to three inch snowfall before the uh, precipitation comes to an end. High temperatures for this Christmas day certainly doesn't look that way. 67 uh, in St. Louis, 74 in Paducah, Kentucky. The cold air is up to the north where there's some snow on the ground near the U.S. Canadian border, but not a lot of snow across the country other than up to the north and out west. Weather tracking, you see the jet stream almost from west to east across the country. So that locks up the cold air for the time being. Eventually the jet stream will buckle as we head into next week and that will start allowing colder Canadian air to start heading in our direction. You can see the surface weather map, chilly conditions here. The next weather system out to the west of us will be in here for tomorrow night. So our forecast for tomorrow calls for partly sunny skies in the morning. It'll turn cloudy in the afternoon with a high temperature of 38. On future track beginning at 4 p.m. tomorrow, lots of clouds. Then you can see that precipitation moving in by about 10 o'clock, a mix of precipitation by 2 a.m. starting to change over to rain and then mainly rain by early on uh, Monday morning and then by afternoon with some sunshine temperatures will be up in the lower 40s. Snowfall amounts mainly uh, an inch to maybe two inches north of Madison for tomorrow night and some uh, light icing con conditions. We'll have to keep an eye on that as well. Seven to 10 day forecast. You can see 36 on Tuesday with that wintry mix of precipitation. Following that though, temperatures turn colder as we head toward the new year. Maybe some light snow about New Year's Day by the early part of the following week. We'll look for high temperatures only in the upper teens to around 20. All right, thanks, Gary. Well, the Packers weren't the only pro team from the Badger State on tap this afternoon. Highlights from the Bucks comeback win next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This might look like a cliffhanger. But this is the Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. Better bring that home for the holidays. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Big trucks can cause big damage. Injuries can be severe and may require a lifetime of care and compensation. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We have been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 30 years. Let us do the same for you. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. You just got to do what's in your heart to put some joy out there. When the world needs a little bit of love, give it love. It's about caring for others and for those who care for others. Because everyone should know, no matter who they are, just how much they matter. Be happy, be healthy, be kind. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. Hello, I'm Gary Canolti, inviting News 3 Now viewers to join me on an Alaska and Glacier Bay cruise August 9th through the 21st. We'll discover the cities of Anchorage and Fairbanks and enjoy a guided tour in Denali National Park. We'll also relax on a wonderful four-night Holland America Line cruise, including Glacier Bay National Park. Visit HolidayVacations.com, keyword WISC, to learn more about this tour and to watch a travel show. Or call 888-557-1020 for a free brochure. USA, this is Stephanie. Hi, this is uh, Robert. I'd like to get up to 30% off my auto insurance with Safe Pilot. I can help you with that. What's your member number? Uh, 87. It should be between five and 12 digits. Ah, Boston, this is Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. I'm not a member. Mr. Gronkowski, USAA is for the military community and their families. That's what makes us special. Oh, but I'm special. USAA, it's still only for the military community. It's easier than ever to get quality health insurance plans on healthcare.gov. Thanks to COVID relief, now four out of five people can get a plan for $10 or less, including checkups, cancer screenings, and more. I'm Nick, a health insurance expert at a nonprofit in Wisconsin. There are people like me in your area who provide free help to sign up and get the best deals for you. If you couldn't afford a plan before, it's time to look again. Act now to get these new prices. Call 211 to find an expert near you or visit wiscover.com. This might look like a cliffhanger. But this is the Nissan sales event ad. Save up to 4262 on select models. Better bring that home for the holidays. The Packers are winning.
deliver on Christmas Day. They outlast Cleveland and remain perfect at home. Now, while Aaron Rodgers and company took care of things on offense, the defense really put on a show. And it all starts in the first quarter. Darnell Savage picks off Baker Mayfield. Now, that's one of three interceptions in the first half. In total, Green Bay's defense picks off Mayfield four times. That's a career first for him. And two of those come at the hands of Rasul Douglas, his third straight home game with an interception. Not to mention the, def the de defense sacks Mayfield five times. The Packers hold on and get their fourth consecutive win, moving to 12 and three on the season. But even with the win, Matt LaFleur says there's still room to improve. The difference in the game was the four turnovers um, and, and the five sacks. But I would say just down in and down out, we have to be more consistent and make sure that, that we're doing a better job in the run game. Now, you have to give Cleveland a ton of credit. And some things just go together, like Christmas Day hoops and the Bucks. Giannis returns to the lineup after being in the league's health and safety protocols for almost two weeks. It didn't look pretty heading into the final minutes with the Celtics, but don't ever count out the deer, especially with a well-rested MVP. Giannis gets them within two, then he ties it up. And just when Boston thinks they might have it, Wesley Matthews puts this game away in dramatic fashion. Giannis shows up and shows out in his return. 36 points, 12 boards, and five assists in Milwaukee's win. All right, so I don't know uh, if this is uh, poetic or not, but I mean, what? <laughs> but, uh, I love how you frame it up. Okay. Yeah, no, but uh, I was watching, I, I, uh, in between the shows, I was watching Brett Favre through the Greg Jennings, I think, to break Bart Starr's record. Mm -hmm. And then Aaron's first touchdown pass in the NFL was with Greg. Um, and it's just cool. And he was talking about that, actually. He talked about that in his post game, and he was like, it was so awesome because like, they had like a little tribute video to him. And when he was sitting on the bench, he was kind of taking in all those emotions and obviously just like so up everything between you know Farva's message and then obviously the response of the fans so it was a lot it obviously it meant a lot to them and it said it brought tears too to, I was gonna yeah. say I, I bet overcome with emotion <laughs> yeah it, it brought tears to, I bet to a lot of Packer fans yeah. today thanks so much Jordan thank you we'll be right back are you ready to make junk disappear I am so looking forward to this we make junk disappear all you have to do is point <gasps> any first item removed just $89. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Your last chance to get the best deals of the year on Ford F-Series. America's number one selling trucks for 44 years straight. Only a few more days to save on our full lineup of Ford SUVs. Hurry in. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Now choose FlexBuy on a 2021 Ford F-150 and get 0% financing for 66 months plus 500 cash back. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. You ready? This holiday, U.S. Cellular is doing a little something extra to keep everyone connected. Right now, choose any phone from any brand at any of our stores for free. Plus, save big with unlimited data for our best price of the season, just $30 a month. Now that's a deal to cheer about. Feel the locally grown joy from U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. How do you use your energy? Celebrating the people you love? Mixing up smiles? Making each day brighter than the last? At Alliant Energy, we bring more clean, renewable energy to our customers every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about each other. Alliant 
energy. Powering beyond. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I am so looking forward to this. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <gasps> Any first item removed? Just $89. NASA is celebrating this Christmas for more than one reason this year. Space Agency launched the world's most powerful telescope ever this morning from Europe's spaceport. Scientists hope that the $10 billion Webb telescope will be able to look deeper into the universe and answer our questions about the solar system. This chronology was absolutely perfect. So there is nothing more to say that uh, all this uh, journey has started uh, the best way it could start. And uh, now we uh, hand over to uh, NASA for the next steps and we are going really to follow uh, the amazing uh, journey of, uh, of Webb. Here's some of the first video NASA is sending out from the new telescope in space. The telescope will spend about six months setting itself up for collects data. That is going to be a huge astronomy story with time. It is crazy. Yeah. I know. It's going to be insane. But how's our weather looking for right now? Um, pretty quiet for tomorrow. We'll be dry during the day, high of 30, 38 degrees, but more clouds in the afternoon. Then some mixed precipitation tomorrow night, Monday up to 42, and then a better chance for mixed precipitation on Tuesday into Tuesday night. We have an alert day in the forecast for that. That's followed by colder weather as we head toward the New Year's holiday. Maybe some light snow about New Year's Day. All right. Thanks so much, Gary. Merry Christmas, everyone. Good night.